Operations Management versus Business Process Management One of the most significant problems that companies of all sizes face is determining how to handle better the number of processes and services they provide. If the issues are due to out-of-date procedures causing delays and problems that are formed around the organisation, connectivity and teamwork are being harmed, the consequences of failing to manage processes properly can be disastrous. But then there's the issue of which path to take, which comes down to operation versus process management. Choosing the best solution for your company is a big step in the right direction which is why it's so important to think about all the variables to make the best decision possible. The first task is to recognize what they are and what the advantages of each approach are. So, here are the fundamentals to help you understand operation management versus business process management. But first, if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel to continue receiving great weekly videos on consulting. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get informed every time I publish a new video. Differences between a business process and an operational process A business process is a method by which a company provides a service or product to its clients. It entails a variety of activities that aid in the achievement of the company's objectives. The aim of any business process should be to increase revenue for the company. Factors that can help add value to a product or service should be included in each phase. Based on the primary factors, you can classify a business method into three distinct categories. You should be familiar with all of them, even though one is more critical to your company than the others. You can use them to fit the business better until you understand what they're about. Consider how each one fits into a company's overall image. While all business processes are critical, they represent the organization in somewhat different ways. Business Process It would be best if you delve deeply into it. In reality, a business process is a set of steps rather than a single action. The procedure contributes to a particular business objective. To achieve the desired result, a business process can include multiple steps and multiple team members. Management Processes How you run your management processes determines your company. Anything from the accounting department to the executive suite is included. Your company will not be as good if you don't have a management structure in place. Developing a management plan can assist you and your team in determining who to approach in the event of a crisis. It also establishes the basic framework of your company so that you can manage it effectively. It can be difficult for the CEO or president of an organization to handle anything as it expands. You can build various divisions for your company by using management processes. Then you can employ professionals who specialize in human resources and other business-related activities. It would be best to think about business management processes whether you're starting a new business or reforming an existing one. It will be more challenging to expand and attract new customers if you cannot effectively manage your market. Operational processes your operational processes are critical to the success of your company and the delivery of the final product or service. Even if you have the best management processes in place, the company can fail if you don't have a collection of operational processes. Your organizational process can involve a few items, depending on the goods or services you provide. It should detail how you plan to come up with new products or services, as well as how you intend to get them off the ground. The exact procedure will be determined by the services you provide. Operation Management Operation System is a technique of operating enterprise IT services to deliver the best possible service to the end user. This process-based approach distinguishes it from other IT management techniques that focus primarily on the technical side of things. Business Process Management this type of management is a method designed to assist companies in keeping their activities running smoothly by allowing them to analyze processes and identify areas for improvement. It also aids the implementation of these improvements as well as the ongoing monitoring of their effectiveness. Since most companies have too many or too few procedures, resources and activities that improve efficiency 
are essential. BPM is a systematic approach to improving the effectiveness and responsiveness of a company's processes. The methodology can be traced back to the principles of scientific management, which inspired companies to work more scientifically. Since then, various approaches to business process management have emerged, including Six Sigma, Total Productive Maintenance, Lean and, yes, IT Managed Services. They're all aimed at improving how companies work by optimizing processes. The variations are only in how they go about it, and each company's needs and priorities will be different. Operation Management versus Process Management When comparing the relationship between business and operational processes, consider how they interact with one another. Without one or both types of systems, a company will fail. Company processes are a subset of operational processes, and the two are intertwined. Both forms aid in the expansion of the company and the achievement of specific objectives. Though the purposes of a general business method and organizational processes are distinct, while both are important to a company's success, you should be aware of the differences. There would be no need to differentiate the two if differences were not as significant. Operation Management versus Business Process Management The Benefits Both have their own set of advantages which can help you determine which is best for you. Operation Management versus Process Management Advantages in Operation Management Financial Savings By standardizing your service, an operation management approach will make your company more effective. This almost always results in financial savings because money isn't wasted on duplicating processes and procedures. Taking a strategic approach to your technical tools means making the best out of what you have while minimizing both financial and time waste, which is, of course, also money. Time savings This isn't all about saving money. If your IT services follow best practices and follow standard procedures, you'll be able to speed up your employees' work and increase their productivity. This is cost-effective, but it gives them more flexibility to focus on other projects, allowing them to do even more than they are already doing. Greater Transparency Standardizing the operation management procedures removes any ad hoc steps that could have been taken to address more significant unresolved issues. There is less margin for error. It is easier to see where things are going wrong if everyone follows the same policies, mainly if successful monitoring systems are in place. Putting IT at the center of workflows. Technology is now an essential part of its operations. Still, it is primarily reactive when it comes to IT reacting to issues rather than proposing process changes. Using IT service management methods ensures that the technological systems used are critical to how all business units work and will be considered in future decisions. Change management Change at the business level can be dangerous, mainly if there isn't uniformity across the board. But using service management methods make it repeatable and accountable. As a result, any issues that arise during the transition can be detected, resolved, and put on the back burner. Advantages in Business Process Management Greater Adaptability When it comes to transition, an organization that uses business process management techniques would have far more flexible and adaptable systems. Management can make faster decisions because they are confident in the current procedures and how easily they can be modified. Increased revenue Companies with poor process management can struggle to resolve complex problems, harming the entire company. These can be avoided with proper process control. As a result of time saved, there are fewer roadblocks to the income flow and the company can continue to operate smoothly and efficiently. Increased employee happiness Employees who don't grasp the systems they're working with are often irritated and dissatisfied. They are happier when red tape and repetition of duties are eliminated and when routine chores are automated to save time. And efficient workers are happy workers. Greater measurability 
business process management allows it much easier to measure the outcomes of procedures and actions, enabling future decisions to be taken to understand the possible consequences and benefits better. BPM's monitoring methods have the potential to transform your company operations completely. Less risk with streamlined processes that have been developed with further thought and analysis, there are fewer chances of human mistakes or fraud impacting the company without being detected easily. Final note. When it comes to the ultimate decision of operation management versus process management, both methods have clear advantages. Which is best for the company will rely on its purpose and structure and your objectives. The benefits mentioned above indicate what you can expect from each. So, now is the time to do your internal research to determine what matters most to you. In the corporate world, both operations management and business management prepare jobs. Finance, marketing, management and economics are among the subjects covered. People learn how to handle people in systems in both areas and how to solve issues that can have a significant impact on major business decisions. Even though they are both based on business operations management and business management, programmers prepare graduates for different careers. Those weighing these two degrees should consider essential differences between them, from curriculum emphasis to future career opportunities. If you like this video, give us a like so we can make more videos like this one. And tell us in the comment section below what type of videos you want. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos.